exercise 4c question 6. I'm going to be a little bit nicer to us in question 6 than in question 5 because the, here you can see they have actually given you the form of the um, partial fractions that they need you to apply. So I'm going to jump straight to multiply through by the denominator. So I've got 3x squared plus 4x minus 5. If I'm multiplying through by those two brackets, A will have both of them because there's nothing to cancel. B will have the x minus 2 because the x plus 3 will cancel. And C will have the x plus 3 because the x minus 2 will cancel. OK, so um, first things first, um, I'm going to go for comparing. So if I take those three on the right hand side, that is the only way I can make x squared. So A must be 3 because it's got a match left and right. Call that comparing coefficient. So a equals 3. Now let's take x equals 2 because that will get rid of the x minus 2 bracket. And I get 15 on the left hand side and 5c on the right hand side. So c is equal to 3. And if I make x equal to minus 3, I will get 10 on the left hand side and minus 5b on the right hand side. So b is equal to minus 2. Now, it is nice. Um, actually, this one just said A, B and C, so find them and I found them. OK, you could put them back into the form as well, um, which I'm going to do now. But I am going to go straight into um, a form that will allow me to use binomial expansion for B. So I've got 3 plus minus 2 lots of X plus 3 to the minus 1, so I'm going to go straight into index form, plus 3 lots of x minus 2 to the minus 1. So I'm using this form up here, and then just bringing the x plus 3 and the x minus 2 up to the top level with a minus 1 uh, power. So I am going to need to do my expansions on this one. And this one. So again, the same as we saw in question five, they are written in a, a format which we might not particularly like. So we've got x plus three to the minus one. Now we prefer it as one plus some quantity of x. So let's swap those around. Three plus x, we like the x on the second term. Now I'm going to have to factorise out the three. So that's three to the minus one, one plus x to the minus one. Now, oh wait, ooh, hopefully you caught that before I did. If you're on the ball, if I'm factorising out a 3, that's going to have to be x over 3 there. So minus 1 is my n, x plus 3 is my x, for lack of a better way of saying it. So I have got a third, wrong colour, open brackets. 1 minus x over 3 plus n, n minus 1 over 2 factorial. I do just put a 2. Typical mathematician, I like to be efficient. Squared. OK, so I get, actually, let's multiply this out in one go. It's a reasonably straightforward one. I've got a third minus x over 9 plus x squared over all that plus x squared over 27. Now I'm doing that because I can see these two cancel. Two minuses make a plus, so I'm literally just doing a third, a third, and another third. Okay, one, two from the squared, one from the outside. Again, if you're not as confident or if you're prone to making silly errors, it is worth spending a quick couple of seconds just writing out the interim line there. Okay, so let's go on to the second one. Um, I've got x x minus 2 to the minus 1. Again, I don't like it written that way around, so I'm going to do an interim step and write it the way around I prefer. And I'm going to bring out that minus 2. So it's minus 2, all to the power minus 1, 1. Again, be careful we're bringing out a minus, so I'm going to have to swap the sign. x over 2 to the minus 1. Imagine taking that minus 2 and timesing it back in. Do you get plus x? OK. So I have got minus a half at the front, 
1 plus x over 2. I'm literally, because it's only minus x over 2 times minus 1, I'm jumping there. Um, once you've done a few of these, you'll find you're reasonably confident to do that. But again, show the working if you're prone to sign errors and things like that. Plus, minus 1, minus 2. You'll notice I don't tend to jump on that one, even though it's not too bad when it's a minus 1 power, purely because it helps to see that in squared. You know, the x minus 2, x over 2, all squared. Right, so I've got minus a half, minus a quarter x, and if we work out that bracket, minus an eighth x squared. Okay, it's your choice whether you write the x and the x squared next to it, like I've done with the black, or on top, like I've done with the blue. That's personal choice. I did both so you can see the options. Some students prefer one or the other. Right, let's see if we can put this whole chunk together and get the right answer. So the expansion will be 3 minus 2 lots of a third minus x over 9 plus x squared over 27. And then I had plus 3 lots of minus a half minus x over 4 minus x squared over 8. OK, uh, you're just going to have to stick that in your calculator. What is three minus two thirds minus three over two and so on um, down? You get five over six minus 19 over 36 X minus 97 over 216 X squared. OK, so let's check back. Did I need to do uh, no? Just simplify it. No validity on this one. OK, so I have got that as my expansion. OK, so I hope that helps.